Okay. Cool. So there are a couple things on my to-do list already. I have to go catch steroids. That's step one. Because I didn't catch steroids before. That's a bronze or not steroids. <laughs> Mostly bronze or is the one steel type that I'm half scared about. A fire type of my party yet, and also yeah, psychic. Crow gunk, easy. Honestly, I should be leveling up. <coughs> Ooh, sucker punch. It didn't do much though. I should be leveling up probably hippo. Maybe another ground type like um, Shellos. Let's just go ahead and Shadow Ball that Metatite. I'm actually surprised. My Metatite has uh, grown some deep levels in the daycare. It's at 39 right now. Nice. Yeah. Level 40 medicam. Yeah. So that is something to look forward to. It's considered nighttime right now, so Zubat are out and about. It's always lovely. Oh, look, another Meditite. <laughs> Don't need you. So wait, is there anybody blocking your way into, um, Snowtown? If you don't do the lake stuff. So like someone inside Cornet saying you can't go out here, there's a blizzard. No, there's a wall. There's like a wall mural or something. Well no, that's later. That's like part of upper Cornet. No, that's like before you even get outside to the snow. I thought that was just the first, upper cornet. The, the first part you get gated by is rock climb anyway. Well, no, you don't get... I'm, I'm talking about heading up to um, Snow Point. Oh. Is there, isn't there an NPC that's like, 
There's a giant snowstorm right now. You can't go through here. I don't remember, actually. Because you have to go to the two lakes first, I'm pretty sure, right? I mean, you're right there, so you can check. I don't have strength yet, though. I mean, I have strength, but I don't have strength. <laughs> I just think story events won't progress. True, but what's stopping me? From, like, if I can go up to Snow Point, what's stopping me from just like tapping it? I'm assuming I, I can't challenge this skit. I'm assuming I can't challenge Candice. Candice. Yeah, Candice. As opposed to cannot dice? No. No, canned ice. Don't you ever get your ice in the can, Torp? No. Mm, you're missing out. You do get that fake snow, though, don't you? I don't even know about that. Wait, you don't know about fake snow either? That's a sad existence in Florida. <laughs> um, you're so it's like you're saying it's like I already don't like I don't already know. Yeah. So so there's you can actually buy a fake snow like to act as if, like, it snowed outside your home. And it, uh, it's only really useful for, like, places where you don't normally get snow. So, and, Florida. Yeah. They basically, like, take a bunch of, like, frost bits and everything and just transport it in a giant refrigerated truck. And then dump it outside your home, like, here, have fun. At that point, you're literally just taking snow. Except it's not really snow. <laughs> it's not real snow, it's just like... It, I think they make it somehow. Okay, what is the percentage of actually running into a Machop or a Machoke here? <laughs> At this point, I might as well just catch this Jingling. I'm not going to. By the way, I caught Pseudo Wudo. Nice, good old treat. His name is Tree? With a question mark. Tree and T R E E and apostrophe T. No, that's too close to Trevenant. <laughs> Not really. In my book, it is. Dude, I'm gonna run out of PP before I run into this stupid. A choke. Pretty sure they spawn here. That's how I did all my like planning and stuff. Was like, oh, I'll just catch Swablu and I'll catch Machoke over here. It'll be foolproof. Because then I can just punch through the Steelix. <laughs> Ah, there he is. And he's level 30. Wait, where was your first one? What do you mean? It says you call him before. Um, so it was probably the... Oh, oh no, know. it was when I was doing trading. Yep. <laughs> because I traded Gengar for a Machoke. Well, 
you know what you gotta do again then. Yep. Do gotta trade. I'm curious how your Gengar evolved in or Gengar evolved into a Gengar. Yeah. If you trade your Gengar for a Machoke. I know, right? I give a evolution stone too. I have no idea what these guys have, but I'll go ahead and fight them. Sure. Scrappy. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Good old Bug Dark. Take this Focus Blast. This is Bug Poison. Oh, it doesn't get dark yet. Well. That's not going to do anything. You could send in Gengar to absorb the toxic spikes. Oh, wait. Gengar's levitating in this game. Yeah. It's before it was nerfed. <laughs> Dude, I wish I had some cool Poke Seals. You don't get any good poke seals until you get to freaking Lightning Town. To where? I temporarily couldn't think of the name of the town, so I just call it Lightning Town. Sunny Shore? Yeah. That one. The name, the city whose name, is, even though it's Sunny Shore, has one N. Hmm. Is it really only spelled with one N? Mm -hmm. It sounds right, but I'm gonna argue. <laughs> So bad. Wait, does Bronzor get levitate? Or heat proof. Fuck. <laughs> I want to pull out Gligar so bad. Or no. Wait, is it. This Gliscor. Wait, what, what move? Natural gift? Yeah, I go ahead and give up on natural gift. This is probably a bad switch. That's a very bad switch. <laughs> I read Ace Trainer. Game said, nah, Bird Keeper. <laughs> Okay, well, Heartbreak, go ahead and uh, kill him. Nice static. Uh, I guess I should go check to see what level Pokemon I need. South of Sandrum. Because I need to keep going there until I get a focus sash. And I can't just fly there, you know, because, you know, Poke Park isn't available yet. 
Wait, really? You, you don't get a fly point even if you just talk nope. to the people outside of Bell Park? Nope. Because it's not available until post game. I mean, I know Pal Park isn't available until post game. I could have sworn the fly point was available sooner. No. Darn, why must the design in this game make sense? Yes, I would like some of your max repels, please. You wanna know a fun bit of trivia? What? Super repelled is technically better. Why? Because it's, uh, the less money? Cost effective. Alright. I should technically not be leveling up Swablu. Um. Why did you pick the Swablu? For later. Because it's a dragon type later on. If I'm being honest, you know who would be like a really good fit in your team? Explosive? Yeah. Not right now, but yeah. Honestly, yes, later on. Um, like legit Blissey warps the entire game. Because Chansey, if I'm being honest, Chansey really doesn't have a type weakness. I know you'll say fighting, mm. but it's more so Chansey and Blissey are weak to physical moves. Hmm. Which means you can honestly just like use or like slot in like that, and then pretty much any special attacker becomes a non issue. Also, you know what I'm why I'm going for a focus sash, right? Wait, why? So I can live a hit, so I can explode. On Cynthia's Garchomp? On anything I really want. Honestly, on Garchomp would be ideal. <laughs> but... Who's exploding? Either Pseudo Wudo or Blissey. Blissey wouldn't explode. Blissey doesn't explode? I don't think it gets explosion. Mm. I thought I looked this up already. Even still, base 10 attack. So, pseudo Wudo, really? And I really don't think that pseudo Wudo would be useful for the Elite Four. This is where I'd honestly say try to find, like, an option that'll take down, like, this is where I'd say Blissey would actually really help your team. Because you can have a blanket check to special attackers. See, my whole thing is like, right now... If I... Pseudo Wudo is great if I set up Trick Room. And that's the thing, I have to set up Trick Room. I also mainly got Pseudo Wudo to deal with canned ice, even though wood hammer is a thing. That's really only on bombs now. Yeah. Because I don't need Float Soul right now. And I really don't need a Roselia right now. The only reason I would want Roselia is for a special grass attacker. Instead of a physical one. And I wasn't picking draft rig. <laughs> um, Deadly poke would be nice in the future as well. But also earthquake.
What nature did I get on roids? I got naughty. Oh Honestly, no. Honestly, not terrible. I, I always... You do lose on special defense, which is the second best stat. Yeah. But you still, you still build into attack. Um, and it has no guard. Honestly, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um... What does Sudowoodoo have? Docile. Which is just neutral, right? Yes. What does, um, t what does you have? Gentle. I think it's plus defense, my or plus special defense, minus, minus defense. defense. Yeah. And then hot rod is bold. That's kind of rough. Right. So I should probably use it more for special defense, special attack than I should attack. Yeah, I mean Magmortar will get stuff like Thunderbolt anyway. Yeah. She's good against birds. Last thing I want to do is send Hot Rod against a water gun. <laughs> and then I have Hippo over here just chilling. Who's quiet? Quiet Hippo. Here's the thing, Brave Flash Flyer, Brave Flash Fire, or Lonely Early Bird? Uh, Flash Fire. <laughs> it's always good to have an immunity so you can use it as a pivot. Yeah. Just lower defense though, which is always pretty sad. Houndoom's not the bulkiest anyway. Yeah. Alright, I'll put Roids in the party for now though. Just cause Roids is gonna help me out in the uh, upcoming gym. Probably the next two gyms, if I'm gonna be honest. Honestly, if you're going up against Byron. Oh, there's a Scizor somewhere in that gym. Yeah, there is. I think it's one of the first trainers. Um, can I teach Buzz Firefang at all, or is that an egg move? I think that'll be a tutor move. Tutor move where? No, relearner. Oh, okay. I just need to look up Gliscor, honestly. I was gonna say, uh, I think Medicam would get Fire Punch as well. And honestly, that's another one of my options for the gym. So my my party going into the gym. Gengar is not doing much, and you don't want to rely on Focus Blast if you don't have to. It's still gonna be a nice backup though is the thing so Gengar is going to sit low in the party 
because earthquake. I just figured you'll want consistency. Yeah. So I'm doing Gliascor, Big Fish, Machoke, Metacham, and I don't know who I want on last. Probably, I should probably level up Hot Rod. In all honesty. Because High Rod will be useful. Also, did you see what I uh, named the stream? Like the title? Yeah. Nice. The Discord one isn't working for me, so I just went to uh, your Twitch. I honestly am pretty proud of that name. Especially considering what we're doing. All right. Um, Leaf, you can come out temporarily. Honestly, the other, okay, so I should take out Gengar for Shellos. I was gonna say put that's where you'd put Medi in. Oh, well, um, no, I'm I'm taking out Swablu too. Oh yeah. So just for grinding purposes, though, I do want at least Big Fish and Gengar in the party. I yeah. really should bring. You do also have Iron Island stuff to do. Yeah, no, that's part of why. You don't have to, but like. It would help. Then I have an encounter in there. Um, let's see here. You know what's going to be really sad? I want to get down there, and it's gonna—he's gonna want a lower level Pokemon. I think that would be funny. I really shouldn't be repelling either. Also, I didn't really, um... I guess I should have brought one of my, um... Water repellents on this journey. Do you remember to keep Swablu in there for now as well for fly? Yeah. Alright. Seventy. Okay. Hold on. Accessing the archive. Is this for the expert belt? It says I saw it. Today's number is 70. It's expert belt, black belt, or focus sash. You get the black belt first. And then it's expert belt. It's in set order. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it'd be for expert belt. Yeah, I think expert belt's naturally higher level. And I already have black belt. I should give that to Royd. To Royds. Oh, that's not the right game. I'm liking this tower defense mode. Okay. Diamond, go in the hole. <sighs> huh. 
<laughs> it worked. More than likely, I have a level 70. But if I don't, then rough. Very, very rough. I probably don't. It's kind of funny. Let's see, 59, 56, 30, 40, 32, and 37. It's the current party. Move. 38, 24, 18, 34. Ooh, a star piece. That's nice. I don't think I would have left a level 70 Pokemon. Oh, there's a Fero. Dude, I found some black sludge. In this file. Yeah, we'll, we'll give this a go. Hey, I have a Cleffa with Q Charm. Oh, my lord. That's all my diamond. Yeah, I didn't see any level 70s, sadly. But I do have a shiny stone and a dawn stone. And 12 blue shards. I should just trade all the blue shards for... I don't even have a uh, focus stash on this file either. Isn't that something you can get from the uh, BP? Do what? Isn't that something you can get from BP? What is? The uh, focus stash. You have a Frontiers post game. Yeah. Well, I was looking at my diamond file. Alright. No luck on diamond. Guess we'll live with I, out I today's. It's, it's just something I want later on. So we can we have plenty of time to get that. Um, We should definitely grind on Iron Island though. I think at this point you'll out-level the gym, or at least you have to level up the others to keep them up. Yeah, that's, that's the purpose right now. The poipus is to level up everybody else. Um, big fish, you get the lead. And honestly, that should I keep the wise glasses on or should I put splash plate on? Uh, splash plate to capitalize on, sir. Is there anything like, like East Pistoria, like below the hotels? Is there anything in that water? Encounter wise, I don't think so. But no, I mean just like in general. <laughs> Is there anything to pick up? Some items and stuff. Dude, I could totally give it a damp rock.
Dude, why is um, Leafeon not holding my Miracle Seed? Alright, um, Iron Island wise, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Also, the fact that Surf is also a thing. I should probably get use another move other than Surf on Big Fish. If I want to actually catch anything in Iron Island. Uh, you have Ice Beam and stuff. I have Blizzard. <laughs> uh, Ice Beam is locked behind it. Um, slots. That's what I thought you were doing slots for. I am. I just haven't, you know, got enough. Also, I totally forgot to do one thing. Just look at um, what moves I can teach everybody. Because you said um, I can learn Fire Fang already. It's a real learner move. I believe a level 1 move. Which is definitely something I want to begin with. I can also learn Ice Fang. Honestly? Poison Jab, not really. But Night Slash. Night Slash isn't bad. Also, opinion on, um... Fire and ice fang. Easily. Well, yeah, no, I'm saying, like... I should get rid of, um, faint attack for... Um, night slash, right? Um... Also, don't I want to teach Earthquake? <laughs> I forget if it gets it through level up. Okay, well, back to Gliscor. Gen four. It doesn't, so it might be worth it. Um, so I gotta think moveset then. Because I have... It can also... Uh, Air Cutter's not gonna be worth it. Because it's a physical Pokemon, right? Yeah, it's very much physical. Um... So here's the I thing. I wouldn't worry about the flying side of things so much there. Yeah, no. I could teach it Arrow Lace. For Stab. But that's also, like, type coverage move. Because a lot of things can learn Arrow Lace. Also, I thought about, um, Exeter as well. Because I recently got Exeter. I think gets that through level up. Uh, Gen four decks. At forty two. Which is four levels off. They also learned guillotine.
which I forget how guillotine works in Gen 4. Like I know it I know it's one hit KO. But would it even be worth for the chance of doing it? No. It doesn't work on higher level targets. Okay, but what if I'm higher level? At that point, you could just Ice Fang the Garchomp. True. I could also Avalanche the Garchomp. Who did I say I was going to put Avalanche on in the first place? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> uh, wasn't the one you were? Th I I could have sworn it was someone that was already dead. It might be. Um. So, should I keep Sword Stance then, I guess, is the question. I don't know. I have to see your moveset. Um, current moveset is... I mean, Poison Jab is also a good move, but there's not really a use. Yeah, Poison doesn't really hit anything in this gen. Not... It's really at all. It's nice move. But there's no fairy types. It's definitely not gonna I do anything. Say, I would say keep U turn, but you're playing on Switch, so you can dump U turn. I, at that point I could just do like um X scissor for U turn. And I get that through level up. Um, Night Slash over, um, Faint Attack. Easy, I'd, right? I'd honestly say Earthquake, Fire Fang, Ice Fang, Night Slash. That's honestly not a bad moveset. <laughs> it covers a lot. The coverage from X Scissor or U, -U Turns already taken up by Night Slash. Yeah. Or vice versa. Because Bug mainly has Psychic, Grass, and Dark. You have other options for Dark, and Psychic and Grass are covered by Dark. Yeah. Or Psychic that, but then Ice covers Grass. Is there any other place I can get Earthquake, or is this or is Earthquake only a one use? It might be a battle point thing, but I don't think it is. So you better hope that this... That Buzz lives? Look, score is naturally a bit bulky. Yeah. Like I've said, I'm a terrible trainer. <laughs> Alright. You U turn's just nice to move out of the way if something goes bad. You're playing on set or on switch, those are things. So yeah. Just... If you were playing on set, I'd, I'd recommend keeping it. I did it because it was a better bug move at the time. Um, and then what was the last thing we said? It was. Flamethrower, right? No. No, Firefang. <laughs> Where do you have Firefang? It was Ice Fang. This Fire is... Fang. Fire Fang would be good for quad weaknesses. Yeah. Otherwise, that's probably the most replaceable move on this moveset. Fire Sword Stance. Alright. 
See if Hot Rod can learn anything new. I doubt it can. It might get cross shot. I mean, Hot Rod's only a Magmar right now. Oh, uh, so it might be a Magmar thing? Yeah. Should I go ahead and evolve it, too? Or do I, is that something I want to wait on? <laughs> I don't know what you lose out on. Yo, sir. Optimal Magmar Evolution. Oh, that's Pokemon Go. Best level to evolve Magmar and Sun and Moon. Not the same thing, but um, checking Serebii. It looks like Magmar learns moves at the exactly the same time as Magmar does. In addition, Hyper Beam at 62, which Magmar wouldn't learn. So ASAP, pretty much. is what random reddit user said also hey sir <laughs> i did notice you i don't know if i said hi twice though <laughs> so it's just trade in um box um, flamethrower, sunny day. Um, I think either that or I'm no, I have electrolyzer. No, I have the Magmarizer too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you really got me sweating for a second. Magmortar. Thunder Punch is a uh, hard scale move. Level one. You get Thunderbolt, which. I already have Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt you know? And this, it's, uh, yeah, it has negative attack. So, Thunder Punch, not the way to go. Um, the slot would be your best room for this, because I think you can also get Psychic through slots. Yeah, yeah, you can. It's the same price as um, Ice Beam, Fire, Flamethrower, fire and, thrower. yeah, Fire Thrower. Um, it's the same price as those three. And then Gyro Ball is one step above. <laughs> um, it does not learn Cross Chop through level up. I'm thinking of a black fire then. That or it's an egg move. Um, tutor attacks. Um, learns karate chop through egg move and mega punch and cross chop. There we go. And mock punch and dynamic punch as well. God, remember dynamic punch, Torp? <laughs> what about dynamic punch? The fact that I was using it on, um, Con Keldor. Oh, yeah. Um, honestly, none of these moves interest me egg move wise, so I'm not really missing out that much. Belly drum would be cool, but uh, no. <laughs> It can learn uproar through pre-evolution as a magby. 
Well, you don't have a mag B. I don't. <laughs> you can also learn rock climb later. So I don't think this is the Pokemon I want to have rock climb on. <laughs> I think Rift Apart is going to be super expensive for everybody, sir. Because we were already look. I haven't looked at it myself, but I'm going to now. Now that you've said something. Um, literally just gonna pre-order the virtual copy. Oh yeah, it's just $70 over here for the normal. And then eighty dollars for the uh, digital deluxe edition, which is you know more than what it normally is. But I think all PS Five games are getting a boost. I'm gonna stay on that page for later. So 125 and 140. That's a $15 difference where ours is a 10. It's kind of weird. Um Honestly, Flamethrower, Focus Blast, Psychic, and Thunderbolt. Though I think it'd be really funny to run Solar Beam on a Magmortar. <laughs> it wouldn't be necessary. It wouldn't be, but it'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's really weird. The thing is, do I want to buy it as a Japanese version? To be that person to test a Jeff different language when it does come out um so yeah definitely meg mortar whenever i can um Nothing really I want to teach Cotton Wing yet. Should I evolve um, Machamp just to get his moveset before I um, start teaching him moves? I'm going to be honest, I didn't hear you. Machamp. What about him? Machamp before um, Move Tutor. I'll just go ahead and do my trading right now. You can just trade it. Uh. Hey Torp, I'm gonna connect over the internet with you. I know I went to the wrong room, but it'd be pretty funny if we could just long distance trade. Yeah, I was about to say, you're on the entirely wrong floor. Yeah. <laughs> it took me a moment to realize that it wasn't the black and white Pokemon. 87 and 97 in Japan that actually might be cheaper than getting it from the AU store. Yeah, that sounds about right.
And honestly, the whole question would be, will I get everything I need out of it? Like, if I buy the Japanese version, can I play it on the Jap on an American um, PS5, or do I need a Japanese um, PS5? I thought you were about to say Japanese American. Yeah, Japanese American. That's definitely what I need. <laughs> Let's just do PS3. Because I think it'll only be 110, 130, and odd. God, that's expensive, though. I don't know why you guys have a tax on fun. Fun tax. Also, I have no idea why my um, diamond is named Chelsea. Just is. Why? I, I don't remember. Hot rod trade. Let's go ahead and trade for this. Uh, oh, hold on. I'm a dum dum. I should have given myself some blue, blue um, shards. Still can, technically. S dog. What'd you say? <laughs> Who's S Dog? I'm not sure. Where are you saying S Dog at? The season's name. Hmm. This is funny because as hyped as Meg Mortar is. I've never used a mag mortar either. Well, there's a first time for everything. Yeah. There we go. I wanted to show the camera. Okay, Roids. Trade back from Mantike. Oh, wait, no. Here, just trade for that Staravia. First, with the Mag Mortar. Yeah. Except I want to give myself. Um... Actually, Royds has my EXP share. Can't. What am I doing? Um... Torp is I doing events. Genshin shite. Before he gets to work. So wait, Serb, do you already have a PS5? I always forget. And by always forget, I mean I never asked. So much to do in Genshin right now. Yeah, it's true. I like that they're packing it full of stuff though. Mm-hmm. Roids is evolving. He is now steroids.
I do get it, I may just go to a friend's place and play it over there. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> One other good thing is that you can definitely just add uh, items in the trade menu. So I wanted to give myself a Dawn Stone. I definitely could. Whether or not that's ethical is a different question. It's not. Who do I want to build next? I think a blue shard is a little bit more reasonable. Maybe even a star piece. I have a ton of rare bones though. Oh no, not a battle. <laughs> Dude. I suck at talking to myself, apparently. Kill, I got a question. What? What unit do I start leveling next? Um, Albedo. That's who I was actually just hovering over. All right, because I was already thinking about him. So if you tell me to as well, well, then I guess I got him. None of current currency conversions come anywhere close to the price of the game itself. I wouldn't say gouged, but yes, they're definitely at a higher level, just because new gen and everything. I think this literally happens with every generation, too, is we get used to a certain price, and then we see the prices go up with the next generation, we're like, what the frick? And then we get used to this price, and then next generation comes out, and it's higher prices again. You don't know the sad part? I wasn't even planning on trading um, today. Did that happen? Yeah, I just I had it ready and available. Yeah, I think Psychic on Meg Mortar is probably going to be another schmoof. It'll be interesting to say the least. Yeah. HP percent blind here. Alright, Roids came back. Now to turn off both my DS's. little touches was in black and white which when you set a Pokemon back to its correct original trainer it says welcome back yeah yeah it does I could totally battle with myself but then I guess I would count against me in terms of the Nuzlocke they were normally 60 for this last gen. 
Not to mention the um, added bonus of other games. Or, like, extra content. Okay, yeah, I, I definitely would see where that is price gouging. Now that you do mention it. It's also 80 for the uh, digital version, though. It's 70 for the... Uh... Mm. Is Karate Chop even worth? Not really. It'd be better than Seismic Toss, wouldn't it? Oh. For a little bit. Well, Seismic Toss would be good for an opponent that's getting really set up. Or for something you might not be in a favorable matchup against. Dude. Imagine foresighting a ghost and actually punching it. Honestly, you could keep foresight for Cynthia's spirit tomb. It's cursed. <laughs> but it'd be funny. That is cursed. Would that mean that it would be super effective punch? Yes. Because it reverts the fighting on Ghost matchup to neutral. That's funny. Honestly. But would you really want to flex that hard on Cynthia? Yes. <laughs> For her using Embargo turn one? Yes. <laughs> I just forget if her spirit team has Will O Wisp. Technically. Imagine using foresight in competitive team, though, Serb. <laughs> what matters is that technically they don't. They okay. Do. Do it for the meme. Oh no. Yo, Venom, thank you for the host, man. Let's go ahead and take that blue shard I gave to Hot Rod. How is the Nuzlocke? Um, we're stealing ourselves to get ready for Byron. Yo, happy Samper, thank you for the follow, man. Hmm. What? Thinking. Uh oh. <laughs> may or may not have dragged Samper over. I mean, it's not a terrible thing. Alright, I do want. Here's the... Okay, Torp. Do I want Air Cutter or Ominous Wind first? For who? Big Fish. Whoa. 
what would you be using Lumineon for? Honestly, this is just type coverage. It's probably Ominous Wind. Got a PB in Portal 2, nice. I want to double check. Um, okay, Roids can learn the three punches. Wait, what is the power of Ominous Wind? 60 compared to Air Cutter's 55. So it's definitely not better than Shadow Ball. No. But would you want to run Shadow Ball and Luminion? No, no. I was looking at Gengar. Oh, wait, it's, it's a... What you call it? Special attack. No, Shadow Ball uh, slots TM, ain't it? Yeah. Well, no. I, I have it, though. I don't think he can learn Shadow Ball, though. That's... Honestly... Unique, to say the least, Venom. I didn't know that was a thing for him. Okay, so hear me out. Air Cutter on Swablu would be better. Just in general, right? Yes, I, I don't know what I... Does it naturally get it, though? I don't know. Um, Zen Headbutt's pretty cool. It's only two shards. Any of the um, punches is blue shard. Ominous Wind is green shard and six blue. Vacuum Wave could be interesting if you get uh, if you plan on using Lucario. True, and it's something it could do. Isn't Vacuum Wave also like really weak power though? Priority, it's priority. Oh, uh, okay. Um, and the next move tutor is actually in snow point, which is kind of sucky. I think they only teach like status moves though, or something weird. Honestly, if sucker punch didn't suck in this gen. Sucker Punch is actually pretty decent. It is, but it's also like physical move on a bunch of Pokemon that I'm not really gonna be using. I was gonna say it's not that really on. Sucker Punch is bad. It's just your Pokemon just don't get use out of it. I, I think I'm just gonna do Ominous Wind on Loom. Even though technically I could do like a fire punch on uh, Machamp, which would give him more type coverage. Honestly, that'd be better for Obama Snow later on.
I'm thinking way too far ahead. That's my problem. Screw you. <laughs> Screw you, Tudor. I don't need you. Not right now. I will later, though. Torp, should I catch the, uh... Should I catch the thing? What thing? The thing. I don't think I've ever gone in there to catch the thing. Oh. It's level 50. I will die to catch the thing. <laughs> Not with this team, though. If I were to go up against the thing, like... What team should I even consider bringing? Oh yeah, to clarify on what Viridescent Hunt does there, it came up white numbers. Okay. So it's a regular attack. Oh, so it's kind of like the icicles from... Yeah. That's boring. <laughs> That's why I said literally I'm running it as like a bootleg Skyward Harp. That's and boring. Pretty well um, so... Yeah. Iron Island. Finally here. It took forever to get here because I'd just been procrastinating, kind of. Also, you died to wake. <laughs> I mean, I guess that also is true, but that wasn't Absolutely. this stream. <laughs> yeah, no, if I still had my Gallade, I wouldn't even be worrying about this gem. <laughs> well, you got, you got Medicam. Yeah. Which is also true. Ooh. Ironhead Ooh. Ruins. I forgot about that. <laughs> I think I should tackle that outside, but I also do want to do that while I'm here. Okay. Can we just talk about how Iron Island has encounters for outside? <laughs> It's kind of funny. And the fact that it says HMO4 tree. What? Okay. So let's look at encounters here, shall we? We have Graveler. We have Onyx. HMO4 tree. No, it says HMO4. Location, tree. <laughs> um, Graveler, Onyx. Have to call, take, so gonna leave oh man uh, thank you venom for joining back in by the way do appreciate it honestly i think the best catch of the day would have to be steelix although i could use another rock type what other rock types are there for you though graveler that's a uh... Well, enjoy your Steelix. Yeah. So when we encounter Steelix, inevitably in a double battle with Riley. <laughs> you can knock it. You can take that right now. What? You can take it right now. What do you mean take it right now? You have to walk a little bit into the floor for Riley to be like, hey, you're joining. Yeah, but it doesn't show up until... 
So Steelix naturally shows up on floor two of the left cave. Oh. Well, Riley's in the right cave, I thought. Honestly, this is just a little bit confusing, but you know what? We'll go with it. And I don't even know the area. Um, this guy has a right to, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, he, he has a and palm and a float soul. This is where I get crushed by the fact that I didn't bring. Um. Did, did you grab Meditite out of the daycare? I didn't. I also didn't grab, um. Heartbreak. Honestly, Meditate's level 40 in the daycare, getting XP while I blunder around. So I, th I think I'll keep Meditate in the daycare just for a second. And I'll put some other unfortunate soul into the daycare. Also, can I mention how I'm definitely going to kill um, Riley's um Lucario a ton. Lucario a ton because I only have Surf and Blizzard. And Earthquake. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna thunder this float soul. It's the only thing I can see that it'll actually... Oh no, that Floatzel has Crunch. Might not be a good idea to Thunder the Floatzel. Um... God. It's the only choice right now. I mean, I could tank it with... Luminion. Missed. And it used agility anyway. <laughs> this guy's not smart. Oh, never mind. Crunch. There's the thunder. Honestly, if that crit, I would have been like at low health. I play too dangerously. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably bring, go back and grab um, rainbow. Because if there's any more water types in this uh, place, then I'll probably need it. Oh, 
Also, I still have Brian, I think. Did I, did I teach Brian to somebody? <laughs> I could easily just use Brian to get rid of the double poke scenario. Is this really what I want to be using Brian on? Probably not. Okay, Torp, hear me out. Mm. Silver Wind. On Luminion. No, you're already <laughs> thinking of putting on this one on there. <laughs> um, I actually do need to go soon, though. Yeah, that's fine. I think, honestly, Brian is the one move that can teach it that isn't dog shit. That hits a single target. Honestly, yeah, he could. And if I need to, I can always overwrite it later with Waterfall. <laughs> I'm not going to, though. That would be more on, um... Gyarados. Um, right. Aqua Ring, Thanks. Ghost Pipe Eye. See ya, Torp. All right. Um, bag to heal up Gengar. Because I take dumb risks for no reason. Okay, that's on the other side. <sighs> TM twenty three is on the floor here. 
So I'll probably want to pick that up as well. Well, I'm a lizard chick. Probably not the best thing to be using against a Graveler. It is super effective though, so I mean, it does the job. He does give Buzz some XP. Oh man. Do I even have an item on? <sighs> Iron plate, flint plate. Yeah, I'm not really saying anything special right now. For Lyscore.
To be honest, once I hit, um... Once I get to Riley, it's all over because I can just get all the XP I want and also get free heals. Oh, that's the escape rope. That's not great. Jeez. It's just the left cave and the right cave. There's Steelix in the right caves.
We're gonna go with Feather Steelix first. Oh, it lived on 1 HP? That's such a terrible roll. <laughs> Steelix. Please just go into the ball. I don't think that kills at all. No, but it definitely does do some damage. Wow, that was a crit. Let's go dusk. Rock polish is cool. You can do that all day, man. There we go. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna actually fight these Magnemite. Just to make sure I'm ready for... Um... Upcoming... 
battle with Byron. Yo, thank you, Flair, for the good luck. The fact that I haven't, like, listened to these in forever, extended, like, you almost never listen to the full thing. And it's such a jam. Such a freaking jam. These guys don't have levitate. <laughs> Pokemon you'd think would naturally just have levitate. No dice. It's a star piece and an elixir, which isn't actually that bad. Seven, seven, seven. <laughs> Honestly, I think Big Fish could probably just take the whole gym. Besides the, um, Magnetons in there. Pretty sure we're ready. Okay, there's Iron Tail. It's actually pretty nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's just on the other side. We're getting really close to running dangerously low on uh, PP. I'll just brine you. 
Probably half. Mostly. The problem is going to be when I pair up with um, Riley. Just due to the fact that uh, double battles. Um, honestly, Brian should be fine on Graveler because it's times four. Also a crit, so... Is this overkill? Probably, but... We're literally just surviving until... Riley. Now, double the XP. Also, he doesn't heal you on the first battle? That's lame. Dude. I could grind off a double graveler for days, actually. Man's Lucario. <laughs> Not really on purpose, but just because that's how things are. <laughs> nice. 
Nice crit. Dude, how is Big Fish faster than Lucario? <laughs> I just realized this. Also, we hit... We hit Onyx before Rhyhorn. <laughs> he keeps trying to do Force Palm. Yo. I think we found the proper way to grind. Dual Pokemon grinding for the win. Um. Yeah. Once Roids is up to a decent level, I won't worry about um, doing this anymore. I'm not that evil. Dusk ball, nice. Are there hidden items on the floor. Doesn't really look like it. There is a magnet though. Magnet and an iron plate. On both of those. <sighs> the trainers are where it's at though. Dude, keep the Steelix a coming. And the more Steelix we kill, the more XP we get. Just waiting to crit that Lucario. Riley is probably tired of the surfs by now. Like, come on, man, I have to heal my Lucario every time. There's the magnet. We'll go ahead and uh, do Blizzard here. It won't kill, but it'll do enough.
Actually, it might kill now. No, it didn't. Because multi-target. Also, Blizzard didn't hit both. It didn't hit Lucario. Which is pretty cool. Complicated that fight by just not using some water. G dude, Magnemite. Uh, the fact that it starts with a Magnemite hurts. Um, 34 though. I should be able to tank it. Kill the Geodude, get the Force Palm on the uh, Magnemite, assuming it doesn't die. Never mind, it just died, so. Choke. Machop. Not. Right. Let's go surf again. Believe in the not crit on Lucario. Cool, my chop died. So I'm a choke. Lucario's dead. But so is everything else. <sighs> Still hidden above half. Which means I don't two shot just yet.
All right, that's both the ace trainers. Oh, dude, the cred on Lucario, finally. <laughs> nice. It was bound to happen at some point. I'll do the double crit. That was just an especially fierce wave. <sighs> the good XP, man. Good XP. You'll never get something as good as Double Graveler. And honestly, I since I have Swablu in the party right now, I should probably grind Swablu while I'm in here as well. I really just wanted to do Roids, um, Buzz, and Mag Mortar, but... Give up on Whirlpool. Okay, there's the iron plate.
Oh, that's gonna actually be really super effective against Lucario. Holy shite. I just kill him. Oh, it didn't. Hopefully Lucario kills uh Medicham here. Okay. Does he have Moxie? You have Moxie? <laughs> Dude. Hold on, hold, hold on. It wasn't justified. Why did Lucario's attack go up? It's not Metal Claw. Oh, it is Metal Claw. What the frick? I didn't know Metal Claw could raise your attack. The more you know. Wow, Lucario is actually more of a special t attacker than he is physical, although it's kind of mixed. The Dragon Pulse, <laughs> strong move. I already used my drain punch, otherwise I would. It's pretty cool. Dude, Lucario just lives. And then Lucario just dies. <laughs>
All right. Ooh. Just barely not strong enough to kill. I swear, if it explodes. That's fine. Buzz just barely isn't killing. So I think now is the time for this. didn't put that's fine Ooh, jump kick on Lucario. Forest palm on Lopany. Okay. It's a great start. trying to read crunch and psychic ooh 
I'll let the crunch resolve, but not the psychic. I should have done it the other way around, to be honest. I had that or he was trying to take down, um, yeah, Lucario with Earthquake. That's fine. The uh, Medicham can't hurt. <sighs> well, originally I did have like a thunder move to take care of Pokemon like Staraptor. Dude, that Metachamp's really, really setting up on me. Death the Sandstorm. Just delaying the inevitable. We're just getting up there in level now.
<sighs> Jesus. I can't stop yawning. Alright, so here's the thing, right? I don't want to lose Riley and lose my double encounter status right now. But I'm also getting really tired. So, I'm just going to cut it right here in the middle of Iron Island, in all honesty. Uh, we will continue late grinding with big fish and everything and honestly like I'll probably get mag mortar and swablu up to level um so Byron's Bastiodon is level 41 which means I should probably level them all up to at least 41 um but that being said thank you guys for joining in and I will definitely see you guys next time.